my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new then hello lovely to meet you my name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure that notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload now for today's video I am going to be doing a rare beauty makeup review part two I have stuff that I tested in the first review but I also have a few new stuff so that's very exciting. Obviously, I've got it all on my face right now. But if you want to see what products I'm using and what I think of them, then please keep watching. I'm so excited to film this round two video. So, firstly, as you know, in my first review, I had only samples of the primer and the foundation. And I have got both of them in full size now. So, I bought this one. This is actually only the mini in the primer. They did also offer like a full size, but this was more affordable at £13. So, this is what the packaging looks like. And this is called the Always an Optimist Base Lizanti FS. Do you know what? No, I've got no idea. Oh, I was reading the French, I assume version well that's really stupid this is called the always an optimist pore diffusing primer <laughs> there is another primer if you prefer more illuminating but i loved the pore filling one that i tried out um so i really wanted to buy like a more bigger size of it so this is what the packaging looks like it is all very neutral and it has that like matte texture to it which is actually really annoying because for example this is a mascara it's got all markings on it i don't know if you can see that but where it's been like in the rest of my makeup it just gets dirty re really quickly um but the little mini does have a pump which is great so i'm gonna put some of this on Also, my skin is really not behaving at the moment, which is annoying. Okay, so this is the primer on. It's definitely mattified those areas that I put the primer on and it is drying down, which again, is bloody great. But as I always say, I feel like you can't actually test truly what a primer is like until you put the rest of your makeup on and also see how long it makes your makeup last as well. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to foundation. I loved this foundation however i did only have the tiny sample of it so i found this on depop for i think around 15 pounds i'm not sure it'd only been used like once and it was 15 pounds i thought Do you know what i wanted the full size anyway because the foundation is really great and i think this retails for 26 pounds so i saved like over a tenner um i did actually get mine in 160c which was the sample i got um, the shade looked pretty bang on when I used it from the sample. Whether or not it's going to be the case with the full size, I don't know. I mean, it should be. It's the same thing, right? But let's see anyway. I did not show you the packaging. So this is what the packaging looks like for the foundation. And then the applicator is actually a doe foot, kind of similar to Revolution Conceal and Define. And I actually really like the doe foot applicators. I know some people are a bit funny about it, but I really like it. I enjoy like, knowing how much product I'm putting on my face kind of thing. And also I'm going to be blending it out with this sponge because I'm going to be testing the Revolution, the I Heart Revolution Cheese collection after this video. Um, and I need to test the sponge and see if it's any good. So I'm going to be using this to blend out a foundation. The sponge is a cute little mouse, which is absolutely adorable. Okay, so this is my foundation on. It looks lovely, it's just not got the fullest of coverage and I feel like that is because I'm using a damp sponge and that is typically why I don't like to use a damp sponge. Usually now I use like the It Cosmetics foundation brush or like the Morphe foundation brush. It has still given me nice coverage. I just still can see my blemishes through it, especially obviously around here where my blemishes are. Um, the foundation though has sat absolutely beautifully on top of that primer. I don't know if you can tell in these areas just how smooth my skin is looking. 
if the coverage was amazing i would honestly be in love with this right now when i next put this foundation on i'm going to do it without the sponge and use an actual brush because the coverage should be so much better but now we're going to put on the concealer and try the concealer because this is the first product i am trying for the first time Oh, I'm very excited. So this is the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. I got mine in the shade 130N. And I think this was around £18 or so. That looks very light. Oh my goodness. So this is the packaging. Look how light this this concealer looks. It's got... Oh, that's a funky doe foot. I watched So's video and she said how much she loved the doe foot. And that is a very funky one. Let's see if this has good coverage. I feel like I need to get off some of that excess. I know, actually. No, I think the colour's all right. I think it just looked so much lighter in the bottle. I've put this much on. Hopefully, the sponge won't soak up, like, tonnes of coverage. Um, but what I have noticed with the foundation concealer, now that I've got this, like, in its actual packaging, um, is that they both have really thin textures to them. So I'm hoping the concealer will have good coverage. Okay, so I've got the concealer on. As you can tell, my face is extremely dewy. So I'm hoping the concealer will dry down a little bit as I'm trying the other cream products. Um, but typically, this type of concealer would be one I probably wouldn't put all over my face. It'd be one that I'd put just under my eyes just because this amount of dewiness if I need my makeup to last a very long time, I just can't rely on it. Um, but we'll see if it dries down. Um, I mean, the coverage is a lot better now I've got that concealer on. As I said, I reckon if I use a foundation brush, the coverage would be even better. But I'll definitely test that out next time. But we do have a couple of new cream products to test as well. We're going to start off with the bronzer stick. This and the loose powder, which I've also got, are brand new to the Space NK website, which I'm very excited about. Um, this is called the Warm Wishes, Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. I got mine in the shade Power Boost, which I believe was the lightest shade. Um, and I can't remember how much this was, actually. This might have been around £18. It is kind of all that price anyway. I will link everything down below if you are interested in anything. But this is what the packaging looks like for the bronzer stick. And then it is, if I just pop the lid down, it is like a twist up bronzer stick. And this is what the shade Warm Wishes looks like. Warm Wishes? No. Power Boost looks like. That should be a pretty bang on shade. I'm just going to take this. Wow, that is extremely creamy. I'm just going to pop it in these areas and then I'm going to use the bottom of the sponge to blend this out. I'm just going to add, I'm just going to add, I'm just going to add a tiny bit to my forehead um, because that is a beautiful cream bronzer. Wow. I am impressed. Okay, that is the bronzer stick on. I am super impressed. That is super creamy, super easy to blend, and the colour is beautiful on a fair skin tone. This is the perfect warm bronzer shade. I wouldn't use this for contour because it's way too warm, but it is like a bronzer. Bronzer? It is a bronzer stick anyway, but it is perfect for a cream bronzer for a fair skin tone. I love it. So in my first video, we did test out one of the liquid blushes. And today I have one of these ones. This is called the Melting Blush. I got mine in the shade Nearly Mauve. Firstly, look how cute the packaging is. And then this was another Depop buy, actually. Um, and this is the shade Nearly Mauve. How gorgeous is that? It even has like a little mirror in there. Um, I so badly wanted to get this for my first review, but I didn't want to spend too much money, so that's why I got ended up getting the set. But now I'm so glad I've got one of the melting blushes as well. I'm going to grab this brush by Mitchell. It's like the cream blush brush. I may have taken way too much on my brush, but I just think a brush, a brush is going to be a bit easier to play with this, so I can blend it. Oh my god, that shade is absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't look like it's going to be anything in the pan, but once you actually put it on your face and blend it out, 
that is stunning how satisfying is this packaging boom um i love this really easy to work with with a brush which is great because i do love to use this made by mitchell brush it's the don't think it has a number on it oh yes it does mf1 uh, it's his cream like for his blushes his the brush he uses for his blushes but it works great for like any cream blush um as proven as well the formula for all of this so far is so smoothing on my skin it is unreal like I love how my skin is looking at the moment but I'm loving everything so far I think this brand is absolutely amazing and I'm so glad because it is not cheap <laughs> I'm just popping some of the liquid highlighter on in the shade Mesmerize, um, just so I'm using like everything that I have. It is a very beautiful glowy liquid highlighter, but if I'm honest, I don't really like use liquid highlighters because where my skin is oily, I just set all my face in place <laughs> so i feel like i'm covering up the highlighter so for me there's not much point whereas if you have like normal skin you could like use this on top of your powder and be fine whereas i don't know it's just a thing with like having oily skin i just don't like to feel tacky and sticky in areas of my face but anyways i put the liquid illuminator on and now we need to set this face in place this is the soft radiance setting powder another product i am so excited to try I got mine in the shade light. Hopefully it's not too dark for me. It looks all right in the packaging, to be fair. Um, this is what the packaging looks like, just with the soft matte neutral again, and then it's just in put like this, and you get 10 grams of product in here. I absolutely love this packaging because you flip it round when you wanna get the powder out, and then flip it back to the start, and it won't fall out everywhere. So I love it, it'll just fall out okay so i'm just gonna pop some in the lid this is what the powder looks like it's not super finely milled and the color looks okay to be fair but i'll be able to tell a bit better when i actually put it on my face i just realized something this is a soft radiance loose powder why did that not click into my brain when a i saw it on the website and b when i read it out in this video um as you can see i do have a very subtle like glow to my skin don't get me wrong looks absolutely beautiful on my skin and if i was only wearing my makeup for maybe a few hours i probably would use this but if i'm wearing my makeup for a long day there ain't no way i'm using this powder because it does look beautiful i just know it wouldn't last more than three hours on my skin um i hate how oily my eyelids get Does anyone else suffer with that like suffer with it it's like a first world problem but it's so annoying getting oily eyelids um yeah so i definitely wouldn't use this for my t-zone if I'm going to use this, I'll use this to set like the rest of my face. The rest of it, I'd have to powder with a more matte powder in those areas just because this here, even though it looks nice on my skin, it just makes me think that my skin's oily when it's not because I'm so used to these areas producing oils. Um, it is a beautiful powder though. If you have normal to dry skin, you would absolutely love this powder okay so this is my base done in terms of rare beauty these are all the products that i've got for my base from the brand i'm gonna hop off camera and i'm gonna finish off my makeup um and then i'll come back because i do have the mascara and i might use a lipstick i'm not entirely sure yet um and then we can wrap up this video so i'll be right back Okay, so I'm back and I'm zoomed in because I've just finished doing my eyeshadow for my other video. And now we're going to pop on some Rare Beauty mascara together. So this is the packaging. Can you see how it's like really dirty? How annoying is that? Um, and I think I like this. I don't know why I can't remember what I thought. Um, but this is the wand on it. And yeah, I think I liked it. I don't know. Let's put this on and see if I can remember. don't know why i couldn't remember this mascara but it's really really good the only thing and this is just the concept of the packaging of the mini the only thing i hate about this is how short the wand is so like i'm really trying to get hard sorry <laughs> 
Okay, let's start that again. I'm trying really hard to get to the outer like lashes, but I can't because the wand is too short. But that is because of the mini packaging. The full size is probably going to be way better. Um, yes, I would definitely buy this in full size because I love the formula of that. It's really fast acting, which I love. Makes my lashes black and um, it is a little bit separating, but also comfy at the same time. So if you don't like company lashes, I don't know if you'll particularly like this. Um, but I personally love this mascara. So. Okay, I've zoomed you out. I was going to apply the red lip again, but I'm just not feeling that with this eye look. So I've just got this little cheese lip balm on from the Our Heart Revolution collection. I remember loving this formula. Like, it's a really soft, moussey texture sort of lip cream. Really reminds me of the, the NYX soft matte lip creams. <laughs> I've basically just said the name of that lipstick. But, yeah, it's got a really nice texture to it, and I really do love this. I just need to get my hands on a nude one. Um, so those are all of the Rare Beauty products tried and tested either again or for the first time. I definitely love that bronzer stick. I'm going to use that so much now. The powder, I don't know. I would definitely use it round the outside, round the outside, round the outside, but not under my eyes because I just get so oily in those areas that I probably look oily when I'm not. Apart from that with the powder, which is actually not the powder's fault, that's just my preference in terms of powders i pretty much love everything else rare beauty is an amazing makeup brand selena has done an amazing job with this brand and i literally cannot wait to try out more makeup that she brings out she does have a ton more stuff that i haven't tried like eyeshadow palettes and brow products um i want a new lipstick that i need to get at some point um i think there's an eye primer as well and the spray um so i could definitely do like a part three maybe when i eventually collect more of her makeup but i've been really enjoying rare beauty i think it's an amazing brand and if you've got the spare pennies to buy some of this makeup i would highly recommend it is a very very good makeup brand so i'm gonna wrap this video up here i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button let me know down below what you think of rare beauty i would love to know and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>